Good evening and thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with the raw anguish and anger of Miles Gray's family. The coroner's inquest into his death heard from a pathologist who described his extensive injuries at the hands of police and that the police beating and restraining likely contributed to his death. CTV's Ben Milger has our top story and a warning. Some of the details are graphic. We love you, Miles! We, have we to love you, Miles! <laughs> The ninth day of testimony at the inquest into the death of Miles Gray elicited the most emotional reaction from Gray's family so far. So all of these 14 officers sat there and lied to us. And it is not acceptable and we are not going to stand for it anymore. In August of 2015, Gray died after a violent altercation with Vancouver police officers in a residential yard. 911 callers had initially reported a threatening man acting erratically. Officers have testified they delivered several kicks, punches, and knee and baton strikes to Gray before handcuffing him, binding his ankles together, and holding him down until he stopped breathing. The forensic pathologist who did Gray's autopsy testified about extensive injuries, including bleeding on his brain, hemorrhaging of his testicles, a fractured eye socket, a broken nose, and a fractured larynx. The pathologist said he could not determine a single specific cause of Gray's death, but added, I don't think he would have died when he did had it not been for the police interaction that day. The lawyer for the Gray family attempted to have the pathologist describe autopsy photos and show them to the jury. After a closed-door discussion with the coroner and lawyers for Vancouver Police, the inquest continued with no further discussion about the photos, which the Gray family describes as graphic and disturbing. Unfortunately, we saw a glimpse of those photos and he is unrecognizable unrecognizable. It's intensely traumatizing and they're standing up because they do not want these photos even shown to the jury. Now I wonder why that is. In afternoon testimony, the inquest heard the Independent Investigations Office recommended charges against four officers, including manslaughter and assault. There were reasonable grounds to believe officers had committed an offense, said Chief Civilian Director Ron McDonald. These people need to be in jail. Recommendations don't save lives. They need to be in jail. I don't know what the next step is going to be, but something needs to change and these guys need to be off the streets. None of the officers ever faced any criminal charges. The jury at the inquest is tasked with making recommendations to prevent similar deaths in the future, but cannot find anyone at fault. Ben Milger, CTV News, Burnaby. For more of today's press conference and Melissa Gray's powerful and emotional interview, visit our website, ctvvancouver.ca.